interesting plant in the woods that I've been trying my best to get better at identification, and that's the ferns. Ferns are a challenge. They have different plant parts and trees and other plants. They have a whole, totally different reproduction system, and uh, it's a curiosity to many of us. But it is worth a study, and if you get good at identifying ferns, you'll be one of the few of your forest landowners that know how to do it. Now, one of the most common ferns that you'll see in the forest is the Christmas fern. It's a large fern that comes up in the spring and grows throughout the summer. And you'll find it in rich alluvial soils on the sides of creeks and banks. Uh, you won't find it on the drier sites, but you'll find it in, uh, like I said, the moisture habitats of your, far of your forest land. But if you walk too fast in the woods, you will overlook a very interesting fern that comes up at this time of the year. It's called the rattlesnake fern. The rattlesnake fern is much smaller. Maybe you could call it a step over plant. You never saw it. But there it is, and that's about the height it'll get, about six to eight inches tall. The rattlesnake fern is another fern that lives in the moist soils on the side of slopes, near creeks and streams, areas where there's a lot of organic matter, especially mycorrhiza. Mycorrhiza is a fungus that lives in the soil, and that is what sustains the rattlesnake fern. You have to have uh, good eyes, pay attention when you're walking, or you'll walk right by and never see the rattlesnake fern. Now there's another interesting plant that's not a fern, and it's right behind me here. Often mixed in with the ferns is the ebony spleenwort. Not wart, like a wart that grows on your skin, a wart, W-O-R-T, a spleenwort. An interesting plant too, another understory plant, ground cover, another one of our interesting plants that's in the forest that we often walk by and pay little attention to. This is Rhett Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program. Until next time.